Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Practical Reefer. Uh, my name is Mark. It's just a, a shorter update today. I'm going to follow on on from collecting the natural seawater that I collected at the weekend there. I'm going to test it with all these tests here. So obviously your pH and your alkalinity, phosphate, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrate. So th these can potentially be affected from if you're you're not careful where you collect it. And salinity is the big thing there. I do have a hydrometer in the background, but I'm probably not going to use that as part of the, the kit build of, of kind of went for a Chinese refractometer. Um, but I also have a, a branded one there, the Aquamarin, which is a uh, second hand that I've got with a, another tank. And uh, regardless of that, the refractometers could potentially be inaccurate if they're not calibrated. So I will be calibrating them and I'll probably use both of those going throughout the builds just so that, you know, just to, to see if the, the Chinese refractometer does what it needs to do. But um, I'm not going to show you how to do all these tests because it's the first time for me. I've, I've used Red Sea about well, 12, 13 years ago. And uh, back in the day, I was using a hydrometer as well. I've never really used a refractometer. So I'm not going to uh, sort of preach to you how to do this because I'm going to be learning it myself. But I'm just going to show you the results of uh, what I collected. And um, obviously, just to make sure it's safe before I start using it in my own tank. But uh, I'll go through it just now and uh, I'll come back with the results in a minute. So guys, all finished there. Um, got my, my salinity, um, which was 35 parts per thousand, 1.0 tiff, 2.6 specific gravity. Um, one thing I didn't realise with the refractometer is you get a little adjustment there, so it allows you to focus in. Um, I'm certainly never going to be a sharpshooter at any point in my life. I was kind of having my hand over one eye and stuff like that, but uh, it, was, it was fine to read. It was much easier than I thought it would be. I always thought refractometers were going to be this really awkward and cumbersome thing to use, but they're actually quite easy. Um, very easy actually um, and with the hydrometers you don't have the issue of like if there's an air bubble on the, the needle and stuff like that that will affect the results so quite happy to be using that and I've got the calibration fluid to keep me right and I've got to keep using the Chinese one and see how that goes um, alongside the, the Aquamarin. pH was 8.0 that was easy enough um, the KH and alkalinity was between 10.2 and 10.5 there's sort of two colours that, that showed them so somewhere in there which is, which is fine um, ammonia was zero, although there is a slight cloudiness to the test kit. Um, if anyone wants to add a comment below on that with the, with the ammonia kits, but I, I googled in quite a few of the forums online, and um, there's mention of there being a slight cloudiness even when the ammonia is zero. Um, but I think it, it's confused a few people in the past, and I didn't know about it either. Um, nitrite, nitrate, and phosphate were all zero. Um, a little bit faffing about with the kits, you've got some of the little scoops with the compounds and stuff like that that you're adding in um, and the I think it was the the KH and alkalinity is there's a bit of playing about with that where you're dropping in bits and reading up charts but easy enough to do that was my first time doing it it didn't take too long um, but very happy with that and the water quality of the water looks great so um, I'll get that that water chucked in with the, the dry live rock I've got sat in a container I'll get that cycling away um, and join me this weekend and I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do there that probably won't be the longest of videos but it's a pretty key step and then over the next few weeks I'll be it'll allow me to set up the tank while that's cycling away so pretty happy with that and uh, got myself some some free salt water cheers guys bye now. 